So my name is Haroldo Silva and I'm a lead scientist in the oncology team at the SENS Research Foundation. The foundation is a host dedicated to fighting the diseases and disabilities of aging. So we focus on the cancer pathway known as ALT, which stands for Alternative Lengthening of Telomeres, which simply means that these cancers do not use an enzyme known as telomerase to keep them growing. So it is important to be focusing on the ALT pathway right now because this is one of the two pathways used by cancers to grow. A lot of research has been done in the other pathway called the telomerase pathway, but not nearly enough in the alt cancer pathway. The main barrier, the main hurdle in this field is the type of assays currently available for researchers to perform this kind of studies, which are very challenging. One of the assays is called the APB assay, based on microscopy imaging of cells, and the APB assay looks at overlap or colocalization of two specific proteins inside the nucleus. It's very challenging to do that manually because you have to look at many cells, image many cells, and count many, many different cells in order to get enough statistically robust data to make a conclusion about what's happening to the alt pathway, depending on the treatment that you're trying to develop. We believe at Sense Research Foundation that developing better methods of detection and measuring alt activity higher throughput, higher content assays uh, can help bridge that gap by accelerating the pace of discovery and how fast we can find drugs, molecules, genes that are part of the mechanism so we can understand how it works much better. Out of all the instruments that we tried, the Image Express Micro was hands down the best performing, in, not only in terms of how fast it can acquire the images, but also how fast it can analyze them. In the beginning, before HCS, applied to the APB assay, I would do, let's say, a few slides, like eight well slides, and take the whole week to analyze those few slides just by counting everything, like imaging, and then analyzing the, the images manually. That would take a long, long time. But now with the HCS version of the APB assay, I can think bigger and I can say, well, now I can do 10, 100, 96 well plates and every single well in that plate could be a different gene. So now I can screen for a whole library of different genes and find the gene that's responsible or the group of genes that are responsible directly for the alt pathway, just like I know which genes are responsible for the telomerase pathway. So our most immediate goal with uh, using the HCS APB assay to study alt activity is to screen library of drugs that are already approved by the FDA, which is around 1,200 drugs in this library. The advantage being that if we find a hit that's already FDA approved, that diminishes the hurdles to bring this potential therapy into the clinic. You know, there will be a huge impact in the field and a great discovery for alt research. <music> Thank you.